Hey, hello once again, CISSP wannabes. I am Colin Weaver. These are the IT Dojo CISSP questions of the day, where each and every day I come at you with two brand new questions to help you as you continue your study for your CISSP exam. Man, I feel like I say that a lot. Here comes question number one. Question is, 802.2 and 802.3 correspond to which of the following standards? There's a big long list. Give it some contemplation. Click pause if you need to. When you're ready, click on play and we can talk it through. Okay, first answer choice says that 802.2 is a security standard for port-based access control. Negatory. Not right. 802.1x is port-based access control, not 802.2. All right, how about 802.3 being a standard for media access control for Ethernet? Absolutely, that is one of the correct answers. 802.3 is the standard for Mac. It's the Mac media access control. Next batter up says that 802.2 is a LAN standard for token ring. Uh, no, uh, token ring, crazy old anyway. I mean like crazy old. And also token ring is 802.5, so not correct here. Okay then, how about 802.3 being a standard for wireless LANs? Well, kind of can't be because we already said that 802.3 was a standard for media access control in Ethernet LANs. And 802.11 is the standard for wireless LANs, not 802.3, so that's also not right. Okay, then 802.2 being the Ethernet standard for logical link control, LLC. This is absolutely the other right answer that you're looking for. So 802.2 is LLC, 802.3 is Mac. Uh, most of us just collectively refer to that as Ethernet. And then the last two options on there, which we already know are not going to be correct. 802.3 is not Bluetooth, 802.15 is Bluetooth, and the who knows where it is in this life standard of WiMAX is actually 802.16. So uh, those are the standards numbers for those guys. But 802.2, LLC, 802.3 is the MAC. Those are the right answers. All right, here comes question number two, IPv6 this time. Uh, what I wanna know from you is, given this particular list, which of them are not characteristics of IP version six? Click on pause if you need to, give that list a read, and when you're ready, click on play with the right answer, hopefully, and we can talk it through. First option says that IPv6 has a fixed size header. That is absolutely true. Uh, the header in IP version 6 is 40 bytes in length, and it is always 40 bytes in length. Contrast that with IP version 4, which has a variably sized header, which is also why IP version 4 has a header length field, and IP version 6 does not. You don't need a header length field if the header is always the same size. So we kicked that particular header to the curb when IP version 6 came out. So no header length field. Next option on the list says that IP version 6 does not have a header checksum. That's true. Uh, IP version 4 has a header checksum. And the gist of the logic that was applied by the developers of IP version 6 was A, networks are more reliable these days than they were back when they were originally conceived and created. And B, there's checksums all over the place. There you got checksums at layer one, checksums at layer two. I don't know what checksums at layer one, but checksums at layer two, checksums at layer four. Applications have checksums. And so I, the IP version six developers were kind of like, you know what, we're out. We don't need checksums since everybody else has got so many other checksums. So they don't uh, have that in an IP version six header. All right, 128 bit source address. Yes, that's probably the number one thing that people know about IP version 6 is that the addresses are 128 bits long. So the source IP version 6 address is 128 bits and the destination IP version 6 address is of course 128 bits in length. All right, how about that 16 bit time to live header in an IP version 6 header? Uh, no, there's a couple things wrong with that. First off, there's no time to live field in an IP version 6 header, it is now called hop limit. In IP version 4, it was called Time to Live, but they renamed it in IP version 6 to Hop Limit, so it's not a TTL. Uh, that's semantics in the grand scheme of life. Uh, the other thing that's wrong with that particular answer choice is that the Hop Limit field is an 8 bit field, not a 16 bit field. Uh, the TTL field in IP version 4 was also an 8 bit field, so no, it's not a 16 bit field and it's not called TTL. So that's the right answer that we're looking for here because we were looking for something that was not a characteristic. Now, just for funsies, let's go and look at the other answer choices and make sure we understand why they aren't what they, uh, the right answer either. So let's check that out. All right, extension header, yes. The extension header field, in essence, replaces the protocol ID field. 
uh, the, the, uh, the protocol ID field on the IP version 4 header identified who the upper layer of protocol was. Most commonly, things like TCP, UDP, or ICMP, although certainly there's a big long list of other protocol IDs that are out there. They got rid of the protocol ID field and replaced it with an extension header field. And the extension header field simply allows you to identify the number of the header that comes next. And one of the big selling points of this is that extension headers can be daisy chained. And so the extension header that's in an IP version 6 header can lead to another header, which can lead to another header, which can lead to another header, and so on. And so you can actually go in and daisy chain these headers together if you had such a desire to go in and do that. So that is absolutely a feature and a characteristic of IP version 6. So not the right answer that we're looking for here. The last answer choice here says that there's a 20 bit flow label field, and that's absolutely true. There is a 20 bit field in an IP version 6 header that allows you to identify flows. Uh, exactly what that means, we'll figure that out more and more and more as time goes on. But um, we have this flow label field, and there's already been lots of talk for many years about the ways in which people might be able to go in and use this in their organizations. But that is very much a field that exists in an IP version 6 header. So, just again, to summarize, the right answer that we're looking for here is. Uh, the 16-bit TTL field, uh, that does not exist in an IP version 6 header. One, it's not called time to live, it's called hop limit, and two, it's only 8 bits in length rather than 16 bits. All right, two more questions down. Hope you dug them. Hope they're helping you as you continue to prep for your exam. If you did, I mean, they are helpful. If you liked them and they're helpful, cl click on like for me. That would be very cool. Uh, if you have questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. There's also relevant links that go in and give you some some uh, stuff on the interwebs to go in and read if you want a little bit more information on the stuff that we talked about. And uh, subscribe. Do that. Click on the subscribe button. Peace. Thanks. Bye.